nice face, Feinberg. Nice face. Yeah, that's it. Minute. You, can you can you duck a little bit? I want to get his face in the window. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the guy who we rely on to do our camera work. That ape. I'm David Feinberg and VBS sent me to China with a camera to film the dirtiest place on the planet. It is the city of Linfen. And spending about a day here breathing in the air is about the same as smoking three packs of cigarettes. The scary part is that there's a lot of cities in China like this. 16 of the world's 20 most polluted cities are in China. And my bosses convinced me to come here and spend a week filming and breathing in all this crap so they didn't have to. Linfen produces what any nation of over a billion people need, a ton of energy. It's an endless landscape of factories, all spewing a bunch of toxic chemicals into the air and poisoning the land and the water. There's no clouds, just a permanent toxic smog hovering over the city. Linfen is located in the heart of Shanxi province. Every day, thousands of coal trucks go between Linfen and the rest of China's cities. Then they come back empty for more. In China, the energy consumption is the main source. Shanxi, in this area, is a big source of energy production. But because of the lack of energy consumption, it is a global problem. This is why, in the last few years, Linfen has been placed in the most polluted and severely polluted cities. 排行榜上，就是说，是一个能能源的煤炭的生产大省，也是一个呃煤炭的消耗大省。但是在这个开发利用过程中呢，因为那个呃，因为人们的一个发展的理念，这是没问题。再一个呢，就是人们最单纯追求这个呃经济的高速增长这么一个观念。所以说导致了这个煤炭开发过程中造成的这个环境问题非常严重。China suffers from both local problems and、uh, global environmental challenges. So the combined、uh, impacts of climate change and、uh, local pollution are、uh, causing enormous、uh, consequences. A lot of the environmental problems in China are very closely linked to、um, our energy consumption because there's something fundamentally wrong with the economic、um, model. That's why the more the economy grows,、uh, the more the environment uh, um, starts to get worse. Lingfeng really shows、uh, the other side of Chinese、uh, economic development, which is actually the ugly side of it. And this is about how unbalanced the Chinese development has been. The sky in Linfen was taken from a sci-fi movie, but life there seems relatively normal. There's four million people, and like any other town in China, its roads are clogged with cars and trucks, and there's a lot of construction. Linfen has had a bit of a PR problem ever since the World Bank called it the most polluted place on Earth. Even the Chinese media has reported on the disaster, admitting that people have been moving away because of the pollution. I didn't see anyone leaving town except all the coal trucks. They're actually a big source of pollution themselves and are everywhere. Linfen has no tourism, and I think we were the only foreigners in the entire city. Everywhere we went, we really stuck out. Hello. What is it? Ni hao. 
When we pulled up to this elementary school, some kids were leaving for the day. And it looked like there was a huge fire burning down the neighborhood. The kids weren't too worried, and I realized that this is probably what they see every time they leave school or go outside to play. Just take the example of air pollution. 70% um, of Chinese cities cannot meet their air quality standards. The burning of coal is the main cause of air pollution in China. But of course, the increasing transport and, and also the constructions going on everywhere in China are also uh, reasons for air pollution. This Sundar 就是这个不带一般的人不喜欢戴口罩自己没有什么防尘设备从盆地这个角度来说时间长了以后就是肺经病你看这风气都不起起来 When I found out I was going to Linfen, I had found some painter's masks under the sink in our office. My mom also told me I should wear a mask at all times, and I saw a lot of photos of people on the streets of Chinese cities wearing masks. When we got to Linfen, we were surprised to find out that nobody wore masks. I didn't want to stick out anymore, so we left the masks behind. However, I still took a photo wearing a mask just to show my mom when I got home. Back from the waters of the Yellow Sea, far inland from the eastern plains, for unnumbered generations, farmers have plowed the fertile soil. After the harvest, the plow, and after the plow, the planting. This has been the cycle endlessly repeated. Through the ages, waters from the mountains have been fed to the fields of the valley for crops that have never failed. One day, the farmer looked up from his work in age-old fields and saw a strange new carriage. The engineers of a far-off land devised new uses for flowing streams, producing a strange new power. To the valley came electricity that bring to valley homes the signs of a changing world.
It was only 20 years ago that Linfen was nicknamed the fruit and flower town of Shanxi province. Since then, it's basically been turned into China's coal mine. It's even more remarkable to think that this has all happened in the span of my lifetime. In China, um, over half of all the rivers are polluted. One uh, third of the lakes are polluted, and over 80% uh, or 90% of the urban uh, groundwater are polluted. So this is about how serious the water pollution is in China. Those pollutions mainly come from um, industry processes. It's about factories who do not clean up their pollutants before they uh, release the, those things into the river. And also another uh, main um, contributor is the uh, pollutants from the pesticides used in the agriculture process. Most of those cancer villages are actually caused by, by water pollution and because the people in those villages depend on this river and for their water sources. That's why you see a very um, higher percentage of um, cancer uh, patients and in those villages. All of the food I had in Linfen was actually quite good. It may have been full of cancerous toxins, but at least I could tell it was grown in the ground as opposed to in some laboratory. I have a feeling a lot of the stuff I eat back home may be just as bad for me. Uh 刚刚上卖的洋花的时候嘛,那就影响了,没少减产,三分之一,就是没有可力了。